This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. Hello and welcome to the Hub on CGTN. I'm Wang Guanyin Baku, the capital city of Azerbaijan. Over the years, China and Azerbaijan are forging closer economic ties with connectivity and infrastructure playing a key role. The Alat Economic Free Zone is considered a pilot project between the two countries. What projects are in the pipeline in this economic free zone? What is it doing to attract Chinese investors? My guest today is Vale Valasgolov, the chairman of the board of the Alat Economic Free Zone. President Alas Gonov, thank you for your time. It's great to be in Baku. It's a beautiful city, and this is an even beautiful, more beautiful port. Um, so congratulations, first of all. I want to begin by asking you about the utility of this Alat Free Economic Zone. It is huge. It is very strategically located. Um, can you first of all tell us a bit about uh, the utility of this port, how it is connecting trade, commerce, especially between China and Azerbaijan? Well-developed transport and logistics infrastructure that allows our clients to carry out export-import operations in order to ensure the successful functioning of their businesses in the Alat Free Economic Zone is one of the important conditions for the attractiveness of Alat Free Economic Zone for foreign investors, including, of course, Chinese investors. And, of course, location of Alat Free Economic Zone at the intersection of international transport corridors, both the middle corridor and the north-south corridor in the vicinity of the Baku International Sea Trade Port, along with legislative tax, customs and other incentives and benefits make a lot free economic zone even more attractive for investors. Like you mentioned, Mr. President, it is the ecosystem that really draws people here from around the world. Um, can you tell us a bit about those incentives, those benefits specifically uh, catering to international investors? Second but not less important reason for attractiveness of Alat Free Economic Zone for investors is a unique legislative framework for the establishment, development and successful functioning of a lot free economic zone and of course a wide package of fiscal and non-fiscal incentives benefits that are provided to businesses established by investors in a lot free economic zone a lot free economic zone legislations consist of law of the republic of azerbaijan on the a lot free economic zone adopted by the parliament and signed by the president of the Republic of Azerbaijan as prevailing law of the Republic of Azerbaijan and internal regulations of Alat Free Economic Zone issued by the Alat Free Economic Zone Authority and these internal regulations are integral part of Alat Free Economic Zone legislation and the law of the Republic of Azerbaijan on the Alat Free Economic Zone declares that Alat Free Economic Zone legislation which, as I said before, consists of Alat Free Economic Zone law and Alat Free Economic Zone internal regulations taking precedence over base economy legislation and in addition to that, Alat Free Economic Zone legislation clearly declares that base economy authorities shall not have any jurisdiction in the Alat Free Economic Zone and shall not have any power to regulate or oversee the activities of Alat Free Economic Zone Authority or legal entities of Alat Free Economic Zone. It means businesses established by our clients, foreign investors in Alat Free Economic Zone and owners of these businesses, their creditors and their employees. And only a Latvian Economic Zone Authority, an independent regulatory body, is responsible for the exact implementation of the Latvian Economic Zone legislation, 
in the interests of businesses established by our clients, by foreign investors, in a lot-free economic zone. And in addition to that, we are providing to our investors and businesses established by them in a lot-free economic zone a package of fiscal and non-fiscal incentives, including exemption from any corporate tax, exemption from any customs duties and taxes on import to a lot-free economic zone or export from a lot-free economic zone, no personal income tax for local employees, no restrictions on currency transaction or profit repatriation, on-site one-stop shop business, appraisal, licensing, permitting, etc. Uh, business center without any involvement of any state or governmental uh, authorities or bodies, agencies. And uh, assistance in finding local skilled personnel and other incentives and benefits in addition to that, we are ready to provide to our clients, foreign investors, industrial land plots with ready-to-use off-site and on-site infrastructure and utilities, and offices to lease. Of course, different economic zones have different priorities and focuses. Yeah. Uh, we learned that uh, Alat economic zone uh, has a lot of export-driven, high-value-added companies, also international traded um, service companies. Can you tell us a bit about the main industries of the Alat uh, Free Economic Zone? The official opening ceremony of the first stage of Alat Free Economic Zone uh, development took place just two weeks ago, but we already have uh, registered in Alat Free Economic Zone businesses engaged in production of, for example, wide range of medical products, special purpose pumps with electrical drive, or special coating widely used by, uh, in the construction of residences and uh, hotels, industrial buildings, etc., etc., and other buildings and structures, production of home appliances and other industries. Some of them start construction of their premises in a lot for economic zone, some in the process of detailed planning. And the list of businesses established in a lot for economic zone is expanding and will continue to expand. I am sure that in the nearest future, companies, investors from China will also be on this list. Mm -hmm. People have been talking a lot about uh, grain growth, transitioning uh, away from the fossil fuel into renewable energy sources, and China emerged as a leader in this respect. Uh, if you think about it, more electric cars are rolling off the Chinese electric power plants than, than even Germany. Um, so in this regard, uh, in terms of the grain uh, uh, products and uh, businesses, are there any incentives and policies particularly tailoring to uh, such kind of companies from China? As far as I know, foreign investors are currently implementing two major projects in Azerbaijan, solar and wind power plants. The volume of investments in which amounts to several hundred million dollars. And would it have been uh, possible to implement such projects if an attractive investment environment had not been established in the Azerbaijan, in the country. Of course not. And the presence of an attractive investment environment as well as huge uh, renewable energy resources made Azerbaijan so attractive for investors. Few words about any collaboration or potential for co collaboration between China and Azerbaijan in the renewable energy sector. As far as I know, a well-known Chinese company, producer of wind farms, equipment, already participated is in one of the two above-mentioned projects. If we will take into account the huge potential of renewable energy sources of Azerbaijan, and especially wind energy sources, those capacity exceeds 150 gigawatts 
It opens up huge business prospects in Azerbaijan for foreign, including, of course, Chinese investors, companies specializing in the production of equipment, design, construction of wind farms. But there are some details, problems that may, and I am sure that will have some negative impact on the timing and cost of implementing wind energy projects. These are problems that will arise in process of transportation of large-sized components of wind farms from China or Europe to Azerbaijan. And all practice and statistics shows that economic efficiency and profitability of each individual wind farm depends on its capacity, higher capacity, higher economic efficiency and profitability. For example, individual one wind farm with a capacity of 18 megawatts requires the installation of heavier, longer, larger generator and at the higher and with significantly, significantly longer blades that will be required for 8 or 10 megawatts wind farm. And this makes the transportation of more larger elements, components of more productive wind farms even more problematic. Of course, there is a solution. Production of at least large-sized components of wind farms in a lab-free economic zone in the vicinity of the wind farms installation sites. And I am sure that this is the optimal solution for everyone who are interested mm -hmm. to invest in green energy projects in Azerbaijan. We know that President Ilham Aliyev attended the opening ceremony of the first stage of this Aleppo uh, free economic zone. Uh, what does that mean to this economic zone? If we will take into account that a Aleppo free economic zone project is an important part of the general policy of the president and government of Azerbaijan to develop a knowledge-based, diversified, export-oriented and internationally competitive economy, creating high added value based on a world-class attractive business environment. Of course, without the personal initiative and support of the project of Alat Free Economic Zone by President Ilham Aliyev, this project cannot be as successful as planned. And Chinese should know better than anyone else how significant the role of the country's leader in, is in the implementation of such ambitious projects. And I hope you and your audience remember the history of establishment and development of Shiko Industrial Zone in Shenzhen, the first processing industrial zone for exports in the Chinese mainland, and real test tube of economic reforms and opening up policy in a real sense. And Chinese economic reform started there. Is it possible without the personal participation and support of great politician and reformer, Mr. Deng Xiaoping? Of course not. Is it possible to lead China into a new era, prioritizing high quality opening up without President Xi Jinping? Of course not. Therefore, without the personal initiative and support of President Ilham Aliyev, the successful implementation of the Alat Free Economic Zone project as one of the most important component of the modernization of the entire economy of the Azerbaijan, as I said early, earlier, would have been impossible. In addition, the establishment and development of such a large-scale economic development center as the Alat Free Economic Zone, at the intersection of the Middle Corridor and the North-South Corridor, will be an additional incentive for both the development of the Alat Free Economic Zone 
and development of this middle corridor. Therefore, President Ilham Aliyev support of the Arab Free Economic Zone development should be considered in a much more broader context. How do you see the synergy between China's continued economic growth and the future plans of the Alat Free Economic Zone? Be sure that uh, in the next decade, the Alat Free Economic Zone will become one of the most important industrial and economic center of the Middle Corridor. And Chinese companies, businesses interested in exporting their goods to the countries of the Caspian region, to the countries of Black Sea and Mediterranean Sea basins, and to other European countries, not bordering of these seas, I am sure will be widely represented in the Alat Free Economic Zone because we are providing to our clients, to foreign investors, a very attractive package of legislative and fiscal and non-fiscal incentives. And my message to Chinese investors, Chinese businesses, welcome to Afes. President Alas Golov, thank you so much. I hope there will be more business opportunities, more deals between China and Azerbaijan. Be sure. Two great friends, two great business partners. Be sure. Thank you for your time. Thank you.